Hi, my name is Brad Kramer, and today I want to talk a little bit about Flashpoint. Um, in a lot of chemical safety trainings, hazmat team trainings, and stuff like that, um, a lot of times uh, our participants don't have a real good understanding of Flashpoint until we actually show them. So um, I want to talk about Flashpoint and what that means for you in practice, um, what that means on the shop floor or on the job site um, as it really pertains to you. So um, Flashpoint is the temperature at which a... Uh, uh, substance is going to give off enough vapors that it's going to combust when you uh, give it an ignition source. So I'm going to use three different chemicals here today. The first one we'll talk about is acetone. Um, this here is fingernail polish remover. So it's mostly acetone. It's a little bit watered down. So it's um, going to be have a slightly higher flash point than just straight acetone. Um, but this has a flash point of right around zero degrees. Uh, the next chemical we're going to look at is isopropyl alcohol. So this is about 91% isopropyl alcohol. And this is going to have a flash point of right around 50 degrees. So a little bit higher than the acetone. And the last thing that we're going to look at is citronella, like tiki torch fuel. Um, so this is actually combustible rather than flammable and has a flash point of right around 200 degrees or a little bit more than that. So let's dive in and see what flash point actually means. So I'm going to put a dash of acetone uh, right in my dish here and so I got a glass dish so you should be able to see what's going on here set that nice and far away from the ignition source and I do have my handy dandy fire extinguisher right here just in case uh, we have a little accident but uh, this is exactly how I teach this in our classes so we have just a little bit of acetone in the dish here what I want to want you to watch for is where does it actually catch on fire when I put the lighter down to it do I have to touch the a liquid or do I just have to put it over the top of it so kind of watch what goes on here all right there so we saw it catch on fire and roughly I, I had to get the the ignition source or the the flame right about right about here and there so I did not have to get down and actually touch um, the flammable fuels uh, so the next one again we're gonna put in is some isopropyl so we got a little bit of isopropyl in there here. So a reminder again, this here had a flash point of right around 50 degrees. So watch what happens when we put the lighter in here. All right, there I had to get the lighter or the ignition source almost all the way down to um, down to the liquid, right? So it wasn't quite going to radically ignite um, as much as the acetone would. So we're just gonna. Now I'm going to put just a little bit of Tiki Torch fluid in here. All right, and, and again here, this has a flash point of a little over 200 degrees. And so this one's going to be a little more interesting. Um, remember, this is combustible rather than flammable. Um, so see what, what happens here. So we're going to light it up. And I'm actually, I have the flame right in the liquid and I'm gonna have to hold it here for a minute before it actually ignites sorry it's kind of a hot humid day here in Minnesota so I'm sweating a little bit here as I'm doing this out in my porch and I still have the flame on it it's just starting to catch and there we go it's gonna take off all right so I actually had to hold the flame on this combustible fuel um, for quite a few seconds here before it would take off and we're going to let this burn off here for just a second. Just And so when you think about things like diesel fuel, kerosene, things that are combustible rather than flammable, um, anything that's flammable is going to have a flash point below 100 degrees. So think about as room temperature, it's going to uh, it's going to ignite pretty much if somebody drops an ignition source on it. If somebody, um, you know, gets a, a flame too close to it, flicks a cigarette, something like that that can ignite it the difference between having a high and low flash point so if you have for example acetone something with a very low flash point if you drop this on say hot asphalt it's a hot sunny day the asphalt is really hot and or you have a hot engine manifold something like that so you drop something that has a low flash point on something hot and it's going to give those vapors off and it's going to make its way to the nearest ignition source. That's why if you're, uh, let's say, filling a, uh, a lawnmower engine that's already been running with gasoline and you spill it on it, um, that thing can actually ignite by itself. It doesn't need an external ignition source. If it gets hot enough um, or 
if there's an ignition source a few feet away um, because it's going to get those vapors uh, pretty much evaporating really fast, fill that area, and it's going to ignite very easily. So in a nutshell, that's what flashpoint is, the temperature at which a substance is going to give off enough vapors um, to ignite with an ignition source.